Hello guys, this is Paul here and welcome back to some Minecraft story mode. We are continuing this adventure. So where we left it off last time, we're in this place. This is the, uh, we're the Order of the Stone, uh, I guess their base possibly. And we've got this device over here, which apparently is going to lead us to the members of the uh, Order of the Stone basically. So basically what we need to do is we need to put the amulet into the pedestal. And hopefully we're gonna be able to figure this out so that is in there now right so I'm guessing let's look at the map it's a map of so the yeah entire world the entire world is not <laughs> this is way nicer than the one at Endercon <laughs> right okay so looks like we've got to go and pull these switches but there's got to be some clue behind it I mean let's can we talk to Lucas again he's got this book and be good if we could have a look at it but yeah I think the the only thing we've got to do then is pull these levers as we saw last time it it kind of started uh, the lights started lighting up and things like that so um, I mean I'm guessing we just it, there don't seem to be anything in order so let's just pull the switches then and uh, see what we can do um, No, I don't think this is... I think it's got a... I reckon... I think I know what you got to do. Because this one turns on the bottom two, doesn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> and then the middle one turns the red one on. I think we've got a... No? Okay. Uh, pull that back again. Which one turned the red one? Was it this one? Yes. So you got to do it in in a certain order, I reckon. Um, maybe the middle one now. No. Maybe the end. Oh. Okay. Does that actually? Yeah, it did. Sorry. Ah. Right, and then let's go and pull this one then. Okay, I can't seem to. I can't seem to work out what this does. How th how this does. I thought there was some sort of clue to it. Um, it's not doing anything, is it? See, it's lighting those ones up. We need to. Getting a bit confused here. Um, and we've got no nothing in the inventory is going to tell us what it is. I think it's something to do with like the lighting. Um, I can't seem to work out anything that's going to. You know, that's going to actually help us out here, basically. Um, see, these lights are coming on. But there just doesn't seem to be anything that's going to... Yeah, I can't see any obvious clues. Oh, wrong one. Wrong button, sorry. <laughs> uh, we've not got anything... Yeah, we haven't got any kind of... Obviously, our ventures on the side there. Um... Okay, I can't... I just can't kind of see any way of doing this I'm guessing what's gonna happen is when we get it right that torch is gonna turn on in front of us so they're all off now okay so ah okay So that's, it, it's so weird, they don't seem to do things. Oh, here we go. Okay, we worked it out. <laughs> far left, far right, then the middle. It's absolutely incredible. And here we go. How did they build this? Okay, 
Now I'm impressed. This is what Gabriel wanted us to find. It's the Order. It's showing where they are right now. Look, we don't know enough about how this thing works. All about the other members. There's only like two lights on there. They're on the surface, or maybe it doesn't work when they're in the Nether. We have to go off what we do know. Um, Petra's we have to find Petra. Us. That Wither Storm is still out there. We know that Gabriel was trying to tell us something. We've got to find the Order of the Stone. But there are only two lights. There are only two members of the Order left? He said Soren was missing. That leaves Magnus or Eligard. Well, let's head out. I'm not going with you guys. I have to stay here. If I know Petra, she's probably doing everything she can to find this place. She's still out there. She has to be. Hmm. But what, what if, if you're she wrong? didn't make it? Don't say that. Axel. No, I shouldn't have said that, actually, no. Petra might be gone. No, if I shouldn't have said that, because I'd have said yeah, she's relying on so I have to believe I that she's still stay. alive. Go. Get help. I'm going to focus on making this place safe before nightfall. This temple is pretty big, though. If we're going to have a chance at fortifying it, I'm going to need some help. If, uh, maybe one of you guys could hang back with me? Sounds like Olivia will have you totally covered while me and Jesse are out finding Magnus. Finding yeah, Magnus? He... You really think that's how it's going to go? Yeah, because Axel's not going to want to stay. She's the world's greatest engineer. She'll figure out a way to stop that thing. We're trying to destroy it. And when it comes to destruction, Magnus is the master. Your oh dear, person. we've got to make a choice. Obviously, the smart thing to do is to go get Magnus. I <laughs> think Axel meant Eligard here, Jesse. Um... Uh, no, I don't think I did. Pretty sure Axel meant Magnus. Jesse, the point is, you should be going to Eligard's. It's the mm, who do I choose? You've got to come with me. You're my best friend, Jesse. It's you and me, like always. Think about it, Jesse. This is more of a gut call. We need to make sure we get this right. Oh, I'm not, not sure. I'm really not sure chance. who to pick. Whatever decision you make, I'll be cool with it. Really? As long as it's me. <laughs> Come on, Jesse. This is an easy call. It's not an easy call. <laughs> I don't know who to pick. Um. So, he's obviously got. He's a warrior. He's going to be good at fighting. Engineer, something to do with maybe the Donald's. command block. What? I'm running out of things to say. <sighs> I'm not sure. You know what? I've let I've I've, I've disagreed with Axel a lot, so I'm going to actually go Get with him this time. Axel. We're going to go find Magnus. Let's do. I'm going to I'm going to do Olivia, that. You stay here with I'm going to do it and get the place ready for when Petra comes back. Okay? <sighs> Fine, but I'm only doing this for Petra. I'll take it. You know, Axel's not going to want to stay here with Lucas, Guys. but maybe that would have been a good thing. They could have become friends, but... You know what? We'll, uh... Ooh. Is that the Witherstorm? Please Come in. How is that? Oh, of course. Sorry, we're on the, uh... We're in the overworld now. So next time on Minecraft Story Mode. Ooh. Jesse and Axel return to the Nether. Intent on finding Magnus. Okay, so this is a uh, looks like the end of episode one. Then I'm guessing. Of chaos, full of dangerous people with poor impulse control and some deadly hobbies. While the great storm grows, consuming everything in its wake, time is running out for our intrepid heroes. Okay, right. So yeah, that looks like the end of episode one. Then so. Okay. Did you rescue Lucas or uh, Gabriel? Okay, so it's, yeah, it's doing the usual kind of Telltale Games thing where it uh, gives you your percentages. So let's just have a quick look. Uh, oh, you. Uh, oh, see, I really didn't. It's hard to it's hard to judge what's going to happen. Of course, you know, I was. I, I remember the the black eye bit. Where it was basically saying. Um, you know, it was either telling Ruben to run or saying, stay here and I'll protect you. Now, I thought maybe telling him to run, he might have got hurt that way, actually. He might have, um, 
you know, might have got captured. But if I stay by him, um, you know, a better chance of protecting him. But he ended up getting a black eye. Um, so, what's this? Uh, players sought out Gabriel's help to fight the island god. Yeah, you know, we probably could have gone back for Lucas. It might have been in a diff you know, an interesting thing to do. But he seemed to have forgiven us for that. So, um, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Um, so we help Petra, of course. You know, she's our friend. We're going to help her. And 75% um, of players convinced Lucas to stay in the shelter. So, yeah, you know, we don't want to send him off, of course. I think that's the, the kind of thing here. So, um, right, let's just... Oh, yeah, let's just go through the same things again. So, okay, you know, <laughs> that was pretty cool. So yeah, looks like the end of episode one. We're gonna have any gonna have some credits here, but yeah. So so far, I've been really really enjoying this. We've got a bit of time left actually in this video. Kind of, you know, I tend to try and have it around kind of twenty minutes ish. Um, you know, we don't want it to go on too long, and we don't want it to have too uh, to be um, too short. But yeah, let's give some initial thoughts. So so far, so good. I really enjoy it, and I, like I say. Um, it's different to, of course, not, uh, standard Minecraft. I call it standard Minecraft. I mean, when we say Minecraft, we know what Minecraft is. This is specifically Minecraft story mode. So, you know, like, first thoughts, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I'm, I'm liking the fact that it's not um, a full-on game. You know, it's all, of, you know, it's story mode, so it's all a big story, basically. Um, so, yeah, and it's a lot of those kind of quick-time events and, uh, and obviously making decisions. It's very, you know, it's a typical Telltale Games game game <laughs> telltale games game um you know we have to make those decisions and you know have a look around areas kind of find items that you can use but it's not you know it's not all about just controlling the character all the time and fighting all the time you know it's all about quick time events and things and i really enjoy it now i personally i mean i did a, a bit of a uh, a vote actually on google plus um i kind of i think i kind of decided that i want to play it as a massive minecraft fan you know why would i not play this game <laughs> and um i realize i'm obviously quite behind on playing this because i just never got around to getting it earlier on when it first came out uh but i've, I've you know I've just really wanted to play it and I, like i say i put a vote out on google plus just to kind of ask people going um you know should i do a I, I was planning on playing it anyway so i was going to play it, but my question was really should i do a series on it on um on youtube um and it wasn't a case of going... It was, the question wasn't really regarding... Um, because, you know... Because a load of people have done it anyway. A lot of YouTubers. Should I do it as well? Um, and it wasn't that kind of thing going... Well, if I, I, I don't genuinely... I'm not one of these people who basically either... You know, plays games on YouTube because other people play it. So it's clearly popular. And, you know, pick the game that's trending right now. Like, if I like a game, I'm going to play it for that reason, basically. I'm going to, if I like the look of it and I want to play it, I'm going to play it for that reason. Not because everyone else is playing it. I know. And this kind of shows that, you know, I'm actually playing this, um, you know, way behind. I've just finished episode one when episode six is out. <laughs> you know, so I'm going to be playing through those. Um... So, yeah, and I just wanted to kind of get people's thoughts. And now a lot, now the vote in general um, was, um, I think, uh, off the top of my head, I think last time I looked at it, the vote was roughly about 75% yes and 25% no, give or take. So most people have said, yeah, you know, play it and make a video on it. Why not? <laughs> so, but, the, you know, a few people commented and a few people had kind of constructive criticism about the game. Um saying like oh you know but a, a lot of people were saying oh it's it's not minecraft it's not it's, it's nothing to do with minecraft it's like well actually it is you know it's it's very minecraft it looks like minecraft the characters are minecraft style you know the the worlds are built out of typical minecraft blocks and things like that so when people sort of say oh it's because it's not simply not minecraft it's like well it actually is you know <laughs> and people say a lot of people have gone um oh it's just boring uh, more boring game you just have you just do quick time events it's like well you know that's why personally i like it um because it's not like minecraft otherwise you know what's the point in having a, a separate minecraft game if it's just going to be the same as of uh, you know old minecraft or well minecraft i don't want to call it old minecraft because it's not an old game of course so then i want to say obviously of course thank you very much for watching this video guys and i hope you uh, hopefully you have enjoyed episode one 
and uh, we shall, of course, be uh, starting episode two very soon, and th that will be available for you to watch. Of course, you know, in a couple of days, I'm just going to carry this on. I've got all the episodes cute, ready to, you know, they're all downloaded and installed on the PlayStation, and they are ready to be played, basically. So, um, yes, um, it's right there in front of me, ready to start episode two, but we're, of course, not going to do that now, because that is the end of this video. <laughs> but and until next time, guys, when we start episode two, which I'm really, really looking forward to, and I hope you are too, I will see you all later. Bye-bye!